All right, guys. So I'm going to talk to you guys about quitting your job. <laughs> Cheer. You already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. <laughs> I know a lot of people be like, man, I want to quit my job. But they don't have a plan, right? Quitting your job is not something that you do blindly. You got to actually prepare for this, okay? So let's say you're working at a job right now, right? And you're working full time. What you should be doing right now is saving as much money as possible, right? Hey, man, don't go out for the next two, three months. Hey, man, don't go out for the next four months. Whatever it takes you, don't go out. Don't do anything. Don't buy anything. Literally, just pay for your lunch and come back home or even cook food at home and bring it to, to work and, and try to keep yourself like minimum of the minimum. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how you want to keep yourself. And the reason why you want to do that is because for you to quit your job, you got to have some type of income, especially when you're an adult, right? If you're a little kid or you're a papi and mommy kid, that's different. Hey, man, enjoy that life, right? But for people like me and you, we got to <laughs> pay some bills. We got to keep that, that bread. We got to keep that money on us, right? Especially if you got car loans, you got mortgages, you got uh, health care, right? Health insurance, you got all this other extra stuff, right? Food, you know, like it gets crazy out here, especially if you got kids. So if you're like me, right, the only way that you're going to be able to quit your job and be able to focus on this full time, either being a developer or open up your own business or setting up some type of passive income. And you say, hey, man, my passive income is getting to a point where I feel like I could make more than my job for you to get to that point. You're going to have to quit your job. Like, I'm just being honest with you. At some point, you're going to have to quit your job. And the reason you're going to have to quit your job is because working full time and then coming home and learning to code or, you know, working full time and coming home and trying to make some side income. Bro, that's killing you. Right. I know because I was there, man. <laughs> that was like the worst, man. It was fun because you're like, oh, I'm working and it's like I'm making double. I'm making money here. I am making money there. But it's not worth it because in reality, if you actually had that time to focus on your side gig or focus on learning how to code or focus on making passive income, you could actually be making as much money as you're making on your full time job. Okay. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by devoutlet.com. Make sure you go in there, cop your gear, cop your accessories, man. Laptops coming through. Everything that you need as a developer is in there. We got stuff for girls. We got stuff for guys. We got everything that you need right there, man. Devoutlet.com. Go check it out. Definitely cop your coding face that hat. I'm out of here. Now, it's all about coming in and saying, hey, man, you know what? Today is May, whatever, right? And you say, you know what? By the end of the summer, I'm quitting my job. I'm out of there, right? So the next few months, just stay at home, chill, save your money, save as much as you can. You got a bullshit PlayStation 4 that you don't use, sell that shit, right? You got an old ass computer that all you did was play League of Legends, sell that shit, right? You have freaking uh, those bullshit Jordans, you're a grown ass man, what you doing with Jordans? Sell that shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you have that car that you've been trying to fix up, but you bought on, on Craigslist for $5,000, and you're like, I'm going to fix it up one day. Bro, sell that shit, right? Because what you need is capital. You need money to be able to invest in yourself for the next few months to grow your business, learn how to code, do whatever you need to do. Whatever is your dream, you need to focus on that, right? And especially when once you quit, it's like, yo, there's no turning back. There's no like, oh, man, like, hold on, man. Uh, I'm going to take it easy. Nah, man, this is not vacation time. You're going to work harder than you ever did before on your own job. And that's because now you're the boss, right? Now you're the boss of your own destiny. And for you to succeed, you actually have to take it the extra mile. Why do I come here at 8 o'clock and leave out of here at 7 o'clock at night, 11 hours, sometimes 12 hours? Why do I do that, right? I don't have to be doing that. If I was like somebody that was lazy, I'd be like, you know what? I'm chilling, man. I already got to a point where I'm comfortable, 
You know what I mean? I got my passive income. I got my codingface.com. I got, you know, my new store. I got the other store that's popping. You know, I got uh, another side business that I'm trying to pull up right now. And I could just say, hey, man, you know what? After that, I'm chilling. I don't need to do anything else. Right? I could just do that. But you never stop. If you never stop and you continue pushing on, trust me, you're going to get all that reward, all that benefit at the end. Now, of course, I'm not telling you to kill you, <laughs> kill yourself, you know what I mean? Like, don't go overboard, but work hard, right? Especially when you want to do this for yourself, okay? It's a big difference when you work for somebody else. You get there, you know, eh, you know I'll do whatever I need to do. You know, I used to say this. When I used to go to a job, I go in there autopilot, right? I'm half asleep. My eyes are like this. I'm just like... Boom, I wake up at 12, 1 o'clock <laughs> at the job. Like, that's when my brain actually comes back up because I'm like, I don't care about this job. I'm just doing here for the hours. I'm trying to get as many hours just to get paid, especially when you do it. Like, let's say you work in a warehouse, right? I used to do the warehouse. Guys used to go in there, you know, they do the little smoke outside, come back like zombies, right? <laughs> And just like, hey man, you what pallet you need? Uh, uh, you need this in the truck, and they just zombied out, right? Because they don't care about the job. But when you actually come in here and you say, you know what, I quit my job. I actually want to make this shit happen, right? I want this for me. Now it's a different ball game. Now you're talking about, hey man, I want to succeed. It's not, hey, I just want to get paid at the end of the month. I want to succeed. You get what I'm saying? And that's what you got to focus on. That's where you really need to take it to the next level by actually working hard. All right. And knowing that for you to quit your job, you actually need to save money. You need to have money on you. You can't just quit your job just to quit your job. Right? There needs to be a plan. There needs to say, hey, man, what can we cut down? If you're signed up to Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, or HBO Now, or you got like Spotify, you got Apple, like you got so many subscriptions. Cut that shit down, bro. Bring it down. Stay with Netflix, right? Stay with Netflix, Spotify. You good. You don't need anything else. Netflix, Spotify, YouTube. That's it. You don't need nothing else. And maybe a little coding face subscription if you want to. You know what I mean? Shameless plug. You know what I mean? But besides that, you don't need anything else. <laughs> you don't need nothing else, kid. So save your money, man. Save up, man. I see people, you know, splurging on things because they want to, you know, show off to other people. Bro, I don't even show off no more. Now I got it. It's like yesterday. I'll be honest with you. Yesterday we went to um, uh, freaking the casino, Foxwoods, here in Connecticut. And... You know, I won like $2,300. I was in there, ah, oh, roulette. <laughs> got all that bread, right? I come back to wifey. I'm like, yo, we got 2300 And she was like, oh, that's okay. That's not bad. And <laughs> in my head, I'm like, yo, uh, freaking, I thought she was going to be more excited. But then I realized why she's not. And I told her, I was like, you're not hype? It's like, I'm not saying quit your job right away. Quit your job without nothing. You need money to survive. Right. But you need money to survive those few months where you picking everything up and you're like, OK, let me take it you know, to the next level. But you need to eat. You need to pay bills. You need to be responsible. You can't come in and be like, I'm going to live off my credit cards because then what happens if things really go bad? Right. Your credit cards should be the last resort. That should be like an emergency. Don't come in and be like, I'm quitting my job because I got credit cards. Nah, don't do it like that either. Right. Be smart. You know. Uh, minimize, minimize everything that you got right now, you know, make it small. If you're spending uh, $700, $800 going out a month, cut that shit down the next few months and then you'll see you'll have like $5,000, $10,000. With $10,000, bro, you're good for a, a long time, bro. I'm telling you ahead of time. You're good for a long time where you could actually pick up on everything, do everything that you need to do full time. Because now whatever you're making online or you're learning how to code, whatever you're doing, right, is going to double or sometimes even triple. Okay, so that's all I'm saying, man. That's just a quick advice that I'm going to give you guys for today. Hope you guys like this type of content. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe. Please click on the notification bell and please share it with your Facebook, your Twitter friends, wherever you at, man. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Hey guys, if you're looking to learn how to code, man, visit codingphase.com. It's the best place to learn how to code, man. 
I break it down for you guys the same way how I talk to you right here, man. Plain English. I make sure that you get to understand how to build websites, how to build applications, everything from the front end to the back end. Listen, for one single price, man, $20 per month, man, take advantage, all right? And if I were you, I would take advantage of the yearly plan, man. To be honest with you, you save three months out of the whole year. And trust me, there's people out here that have been subscribers for years, okay? <laughs> and they love it, and they're still coming back, right? But if you are going to be here for the long haul, I would definitely recommend subscribe to the yearly plan, okay? You already know it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com. Peace.